All right. Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? It's Kevin here, and um, tonight uh, I'm shooting this video because I wanted to talk about the law of attraction and how it's affected my life. And just uh, maybe some people can relate and you know have a I don't know a different opinion about coincidences and things that happen in our life and you know how we uh, experience things for a reason, so to say. You know, for example, um, my son was born on December 1st, and uh, the ironic thing of, of December 1st is, <coughs> excuse me, a really good friend of mine two years prior to that also had her first child at uh, on the same day, and, um, it, you know, it was pretty magical that that happened, and, and very unique, I thought, and um, a really bigger, ironic picture about how significant December 1st would become in my life. I only found out last year when I met my birth mom for the first time, and come to find out my birth mom's birthday is December 1st as well, and, uh, you know, there's just the, the little signs of, of things that are significant in your life you know what what's happened to you that you know has taken years to come full circle you know 42 years later after being born I finally meet my birth mom and find out my son's born on the same day you know what I mean is it coincidence is it law of attraction you be the judge you know like, you know I mean it's just so many things in life that happen for a reason it makes you wonder, it makes you think, you know, how, how can you, um, how do you know when, when you've actually found the meaning of something, you know, it, it's just, it's kind of mind blowing, um, cause and effect, the ripple effect is my favorite saying, everything happens for a reason, you know, Thor coming into my life when he did was not, you know, he wasn't, uh, wasn't a dog I was looking to have actually when I got him, but you know, he through a lot of very tough times in my life has, you know, been right by my side and been the best thing to ever happen to me, you know, as far as keeping my chin up and making me smile and stuff like that. So you just never know what, what's going to come along in life and, and touch you in a powerful way. Um, I look at uh, different scenarios growing up as a kid and what led to some very uh, hard choices in life and uh, you know, really challenged me as a person and uh, you know, a lot of things happened like uh, you know, when I got divorced and started raising my kids as a single father. And, all of that stuff happened for a reason, you know, that there was growth from within for me that I needed to go through. There was challenges that I needed to accomplish as a, as a man, as a, a person, as a father, and um, it's been an ongoing lesson, you know, my kids are 21 and 18 now, and, um, you know, I sacrifice a lot did a lot of things I'm not proud of to, you know, make sure they were taken care of while they were growing up. Um, you know, I did a lot of things I, I shouldn't have done. I wish I could have done differently, but you know what? They all had positive outcomes. They all made me who I am today. Uh, you know, the, the, the years of therapy I went through, the, the bad relationships, you know, I found a way to pull something good out of every negative experience I've ever had and I don't uh, I don't ever try and look for the negative side of anything you know my focus is always to try and find what you can take out of something and better yourself you know I, I firmly believe if, if you're truly walking you know your spiritual path you know mine happens to be a spiritual path where I followed God and Jesus and, and it took me a long time to get to that point in my life too where 
I was open to that. I had a lot of negative experiences surrounding that um, growing up, and I've turned them all into positives now. Um, I, you know, there's been a lot of very influential people in my life, and, and um, you know, I, I've read a couple books now that, that have really opened my eyes to a few things, and I, I'm very grateful to have, you know, met my friend and, and business partner and brother from another mother, Lawrence G. You know, he really, uh, he's really helped me grow as an individual, and you know, we've both helped each other out in our own ways here and there, and uh, in a lot of ways, you know, Lawrence has just been more of a, you know, he's just been a real spiritual positive person in my life that's really kept me on track when I've needed to, and, you know, called me out and made me check myself. He's, you know, opened my eyes to some books, and, um, you know, we have a, a, an amazing story as to how we met, you know, things, just think weird things like this happen, you know, I mean, Lawrence and I met due to a Craigslist ad, okay, and now we have this amazing friendship of almost two years now, um, and this was just me out trying to find people, you know, back in the day that were interested in, in learning about home-based businesses, and, you know, our paths cross for a reason. I, I firmly believe that. I, you know, I can't say enough. There's another guy, Brandon Murray. Uh, same scenario, a couple months before I met Lawrence. Um, I was looking for some help, uh, actually creating the, the Craigslist ads that Lawrence responded to, and, and Brandon Murray took some time out of his busy schedule to, to work with me and teach me some things. I was so raw and so new at internet marketing. And just you know basically a baby you know and and I've been able to learn so much from Brandon and you know I, I just feel blessed and I hope that you can take something from what I've said here today that is don't forget that everything happens for a reason don't forget to look for what's the good behind it all you know, be open to searching for the good. Be assertive enough with yourself to find the, the true answer behind what's happening. Um, I believe those challenges come up to grow our, grow our spirit, to grow us, our inner strength, um, to, to help us love better, to help us care more, to help us have more compassion. And when you can really go out and, and find the good, everything around you just starts the karma from it, you know, when you project the good, you get it back, when you project the negative, you get it back, so, you know, I actually like to try and stay away from, from words that, um, you know, even talk about negativity, and unfortunately it's hard to, you know, do that, but, uh, just saying them to me is throwing out a negative vibe, and I, I really want to, you know, keep focused, keep positive, you know, stay happy, and, and strive to to convey that out to everybody that I touch and I meet in life. You know, when when somebody hears my name or sees my name, I don't I don't need an applause. I don't need any of that. I just like to know they they can look at me or they can think of me and. and Say, hey man, that's an alright dude. You know, and, and that's that's just amazing to me. So, anyways, stay positive, stay focused. Hope you're having a rocking Wednesday evening. And uh, me, LG, and Thor are about to head home. I'm looking forward to cutting another video again soon. So, I hope you'll check back with and me and uh, see what I'm doing. Take care, peace, and God bless. The ripple effect's always in play. Ten minutes.